हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सर्विस नाउ गाय आई एम गुंजन किरतकर ए सर्विस नाउ डेवलपर एंड माई मोटिव बिहाइंड द चैनल क्रिएशन इज टू स्प्रेड द नॉलेज रिलेटेड टू द सर्विस नाउ विद द लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट वीडियोज यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी ओवर लिंकड इन और द ट्विटर फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट रिगार्डिंग द सर्विस नाउ सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट दी स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड टाइप्स so as you might know about uh, the script include has a basically three types the first one is on demand or classless we can call it as a classless as well the second one is the exist uh, extend an existing class and the third one is a define a new class which is a uh, all together new script include and defining the new class so these are the three types of the script includes so first of all uh, we are going to uh, study the first script include type which is the on demand or the classless so in order to write down that you have to just maybe get to the script include under uh, system definition then click on the new button uh, and then uh, we, we just need to understand what exactly uh, the classless or the uh, on demand script include means so the script include that defines a single function is known as the on demand uh, or the classless so it uh, this script include doesn't have any class with it we just have to define the function so the function is callable from the server side scripts and on demand script include can never be used in the client client side even if the client callable option is selected so whenever we are trying to write down any script include then automatically one template uh, populates so we just have to delete that template and we will have to define our uh, javascript function uh, which which is the uh, universal syntax which we can use to define any uh, uh, function so we have to use that uh, syntax in order to define the function and we just need to make sure that the name of the script include and the name of the function uh, needs to be same uh, so there uh, will not be any change with the name and the function name so now suppose uh, for the demonstration purpose we are going to write down one function as some two nums okay now this uh auto it auto populates this uh, syntax which is the class base this is another type of the script uh, include we just need to delete this syntax and we have to write down the function and the same name as that of the script include then we are getting the two variables we uh this is for the demonstration purpose and i am just uh, make uh, miss getting the sum of the two numbers which i am going to pass from the business rule so it is var my sum is equal to int1 plus int2 and gs dot add info message sum is equal to plus int1 plus int2 is equal to my sum okay here it is so this is our info message so it will print the sum of these two integers now i am just saving it
okay so it is successfully saved now we will go to our business rule table and from here uh, we can write down the uh, business rule on the incident table in order to print uh, the sum and to pass the two variables integer 1 and integer 2 into this uh, script include so we can write down get sum then the incident and uh, check this checkbox as advance and what we can do is we can write down it on the on the display and from here we will pass the two variable uh, first one is this seven and our my num two is equal to twenty and from here we will directly call that uh, function we don't have to use any kind of syntax which we use in the client uh, client script while calling the that glide ajax or don't have to use any new keyword while calling the uh, script include from the server side so from here we will we can directly call that function now you can see that the function okay, function name is a uh, function declaration is uh, not present in the uh, business rule you can't see any function in the business rule but still it will work okay just save it and now we will open the incident table okay you can see that the sum sum 7 plus 20 is equal to 27 so it gets um, calculated on the basis of this uh, display business rule so you can directly call this function from the business rule and pass the parameter uh, to that particular function and that function is basically defined here into the uh, script include and we call it as the uh, on demand script include or the classless script include so that is a small demonstration on how exactly we can define the uh, classless or on demand script include and call it from the server side scripts the second type of uh, the script include is ex uh, extend an existing class so first of all we need to understand why we need to extend an existing class and how we can do that so basically uh, what happened you know that service now provides the out of the box script include as well and sometimes it is application based it is a table based uh, you can see that it is a spm ref utils so this is the out of the box script include i just applied here filter as a, a protection policy is equal to read only an application is equal to global so if i open this particular script include then you can see that this item is read only based on his protection policy so if we wanted to make any modification into the out of the box script include then we can't do it directly because it is a protected uh, by the service now by this protection policy so we can't directly make modification same with this script include as well now uh, it has a protection policy as a protect uh, protected so this script include is a hidden or it is encrypted in the service now instance so we can't do any kind of changes to this uh, particular script include so in order to do or order to override this kind of the script includes what we can do is we have either two options suppose this script include is getting called from the business rule then what we can do is in case of the read only protection policy we can copy the entire script include from here we can create our new script include and we can call that new script include from that business rule because that business rule is not a read only so we can change uh, 
change the uh, script include name from that particular business rule and call our new script include and we can write down the code or we can uh, make any changes into this code in our new script include the other way is to extend the existing class so here you can see that the class name is this spm ref utils so how we can extend this particular class and how we can overwrite so i will show you one demo here let me remove this filter okay so the new script include gets inserted and in order to extend that uh, this script include we just need to copy its name from here and come down to our script include and instead of this abstract ajax processor just write down our script include name which we wanted to uh, extend and after that just save it so now this script include uh, this out of the box script include is available with this uh, newly extended script include and you can uh, override this particular script include from this newly created script include so uh, this is how you can uh, define or you can extend the class from the existing script include and override uh, that script include when it is the out of the box and it is the read only so this is the small demo for extending the script include the third type and the last type of the script include is uh, defining a new class so whenever we are going to write down any uh, script include and uh, if we write down here any name then the api name and the script include out of the box syntax is automatically populated and that is actually script include define its class uh, with the name same as this script include name so that is the out of the box syntax and default syntax for the script include uh, when we are creating uh, any new script include we call it as uh, defining a, a new class or class based script include as well so i will show you uh, the small demo you might already know this kind of script include because uh, this is the default script include which we use in the client side as well as in the server side so basically uh, i'm just giving the name as a define new class and you can see that the api name is automatically populated and the syntax is also getting populated and you can see here uh, the class uh, class is also created so in order to uh, define uh, multiple functions within the uh, same script include then we can use this class base script include and we can write down here as a function one this is the first function and we can write down our code within this function and we can call basically it from the uh, business rule or if we wanted to call it from the uh, uh, client side then we can check the checkbox client callable and we can make it uh, available for the client side as well and we can call this particular function and basically this kind of uh, script include we use in order to define the multiple functions within the one script include and this is how we can uh, create the class base or defining a new class script include i hope this video finds you helpful thank you for watching